Hello, students. Today, we're clearing up one of the most common physics doubts for your exams. Don't worry. The answer is actually really simple. Let's understand it together, step by step. Okay, so this is the big question. They're both at the same temperature. So what's happening here? To get this, let's use a simple analogy. Just imagine that heat from your hand is like traffic. Okay, so metal is like a superhighway. The heat traffic can just zoom through it really fast. But wood, that's more like a narrow village road with tons of traffic jams. Heat moves very slowly. All right, let's connect this to the scientific terms from your NCERT book. It's all about conduction. First up, we have conductors. These are the heat highways we talked about, right? They let heat pass easily. And then we have insulators. They're like heat roadblocks. They don't let heat pass through easily. So, simple logic. Metal is a very good conductor. And wood is a poor conductor or an insulator. So what happens when you touch metal? Well, it's a good conductor, so it quickly pulls heat from your hand. This rapid loss of heat is what your brain actually feels as cold. It's a feeling, not the temperature. Now, see this with wood. It's an insulator, remember? So it pulls heat away from you very, very slowly. Because that heat is leaving your hand so slowly, the wood just doesn't feel cold to you. So here's the main idea to remember. It's not the temperature, but the speed of heat transfer. Okay, time for a memory hook for your exams. This is a simple trick to remember this forever. Just remember this, metal is a fast heat thief, and wood, it's a slow heat holder. So don't be confused, they're at the same temperature, they just treat your heat very differently. I really hope that was helpful. So what's the next physics doubt you want me to clear up? Just comment your question below, and we'll make an explainer just for you. Keep learning.